Hello grade 9 students! For your first lesson in mathematics, we have the following objectives. Define quadratic equation. Identify if an equation is quadratic or not. Write quadratic equation in standard form. And convert quadratic equations in standard form and determine the values of A, B, and C. Let's have a quick diagnostic test. Determine if the following is quadratic or not. Number one, this is not quadratic. Number two is also not quadratic. Number three here is quadratic. How about number four? This is not quadratic. And the last one is quadratic. Do you now have an idea how to determine if it is quadratic or not? Quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2. Let us recall our activity earlier. The degree of the first equation is 3. That's why this is not quadratic. Number 2, the exponent of the variable here is 1, so this is linear, not quadratic. Number 3, the degree of this equation is 2. That's why this is quadratic. Number 4, again, the exponent of the variable here is 1, so this is not quadratic. And for the last one, the degree of this equation is 2, therefore, this is quadratic. As easy as that. Quadratic equations may be written in various forms. Let us examine the following. But first, let us make sure that these four equations are quadratic equations. Let us take a look at the degree of each equation. The degree here is 2. This one is also 2. Here is also 2. And this one is also 2. Since the degree of each equation is 2, therefore, these are all quadratic equations. Now, let us examine how they are written. For number 1, the constant term is on the right side. For number 2, we do not have a constant term and the linear term is on the right side. For this one, the constant term is on the right side and there is no linear term. And for the last one, all terms are on the left side and this is equated to 0. So here are some ways on how you may write quadratic equations. Working with a quadratic equation is usually simplified when expressed in a standard form. Standard form of a quadratic equation in one variable is expressed as ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. ax squared is the quadratic term. bx is the linear term while c is the constant term, where a, b, and c are all real numbers and a is not equal to zero. Now, for uniformity, and since it has been a custom in mathematics that the leading term is positive, we are going to set our a greater than zero. And also, all non-zero coefficients are just divisible by 1. What does it mean? The quadratic equation is expressed in simplest form. Let's have an activity. What's my standard form? So in this equation, the first thing that you are going to do is to move 30 on this side. It will now become negative 30 and then equal to 0. Notice that 5, 15, 30 are all divisible by 5, so let us divide everything by 5. 5 and 5 here will cancel out, so we have y squared. Negative 15y divided by 5 is negative 3y. Negative 30 divided by 5 is negative 6. And 0 divided by 5 is still 0. So this is now the standard form of this equation. Let us have another one. 8x squared equals negative 4x. So first, let us move this linear term on this side. It will become positive, And then let us equate this to 0. 8 and 4 are both divisible by 4. So let us divide everything by 4. 
8 divided by 4 here is 2, so we have 2x squared. 4 and 4 here will cancel out, leaving us just x. And 0 divided by 4 is still 0. Let us have some more. Let us move 9 to the other side and equate this to 0. Both are divisible by 3, so let us divide everything by 3. 3 and 3 here will cancel out, so we have q squared. Negative 9 divided by 3 is equal to negative 3. And 0 divided by 3 is still 0. Last one, we have 2p squared minus 4p minus 12 is equal to 0. This is already in a standard form. However, we can still simplify this. Let us divide everything by 2. 2 and 2 here will cancel out, so we have p squared. Negative 4p divided by 2 is negative 2p. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. And 0 divided by 2 is 0. Let us have another activity as easy as A, B, C. Let us recall the standard form of a quadratic equation in one variable. Let us have an example. Let us determine now the A, B, and C. 3 here is the numerical coefficient of x squared, so this is our A. Negative 5 here is the numerical coefficient of x, so this is our B. And 7 here is our constant, so this is our C. So for the A, B, C, A is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the second power, so this is 3. While B is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the first power, this is negative 5. And C is just the constant. Let us have an example. We have n squared minus 10 is equal to 0. Let us determine the A, B, and C. Again, A is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the second power. So in here, the variable raised to the second power is n. Its numerical coefficient is the invisible 1. Letter B again is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the first power. But we do not have a variable here raised to the first power. Therefore, B is 0. And C is the constant. Do not forget to include the sign. Let's have some more examples. 4p squared minus 9p is equal to 0. Let us determine the a, b, and c. Again, a is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the second power. So that is 4. b is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the first power. Don't forget the sign. So this is negative 9. And C is the constant. We do not have a constant here. So C is 0. Last one, we have negative 3Q squared plus 4Q plus 5 is equal to 0. This is already in a standard form. So let us determine the A, B, C. A, again, is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the second power, so that would be negative 3. While B is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the first power, so that would be 4. And C is the constant, so we have 5. However, as mentioned earlier, for uniformity, and since we are accustomed in mathematics that the leading term is positive, we are going to move all these terms to this side and this will be equal to 0. So negative 3q squared moving to the other side will become positive. Positive 4q to the other side will become negative 4q. And positive 5 moving to the other side will become negative 5 equals 0. So here, 
A is equal to 3, B is negative 4, and C is negative 5. If you are going to ask me which one is correct, technically, both of them are correct. Why? Because by definition, A, B, and C should be real numbers, and A must not be equal to 0. So you can actually write a standard form in two different ways. But again, as mentioned earlier, for uniformity, and it has been a custom in mathematics that the leading term is positive, so this answer is highly encouraged. Let us do extra challenge. Express the following in standard form and determine the values of A, B, and C. So first thing that we are going to do here is to simplify this. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. Let us move 12 on this side, minus 12, equal to 0. Let us divide everything by 2. 2 and 2 here will cancel out, so we have x squared. Negative 6x divided by 2 is negative 3x. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. And 0 divided by 2 is 0. And now for the ABC, A again is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the second power. So in this case, that is the invisible one. B is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the first power. So that would be negative 3. And our constant is negative 6. Let us have another one. This time, I am going to use FOIL method to simplify this. 3y times y is 3y squared. 3y times 1 is 3y. Negative 4 times y is negative 4y. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Equals negative 7. So we have here 3y squared. Positive 3y minus 4y is negative y. Negative 4, copy. Let us move negative 7 on this side. It will become positive. Then equate to 0. Negative 4 plus 7 is positive 3. Let us determine the ABC. A is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the second power. So that is 3. B is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the first power. So that would be negative 1. And our constant is 3. For the summary, here are the things that we discussed in this video. Take time to understand this. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. For number 1, we are going to move negative 2x squared on this side so that the leading term is positive. We can simplify this further by dividing everything by 2. 2x two squared divided by 2 is x squared and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So our ABC would be A is the numerical coefficient of the variable raised to the second power. So that is the invisible 1. We do not have a variable raised to the first power, therefore b is equal to 0. And our constant is 4. Number 2, we are going to use FOIL method. x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. 2 times x is 2x. And positive 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Let us simplify this. Negative 3x plus 2x is negative x. For the ABC, our A is the invisible 1, our B is the invisible but negative 1, and our C is negative 6. This one, 5x times x is 5x squared, 5x times 3 is 15x. Moving 20 on this side will become minus 20 and then equate to 0. 
we can divide everything by 5. This will become 5 divided by 5 is just x squared. 15x divided by 5 is 3x. And negative 20 divided by 5 is negative 4. So for the A, B, C, our A is invisible 1 again. Our B is 3. And our C is negative 4. Gets? Our next lesson is solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots.